Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a four box break of 2020-2021 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. One spot gets you three teams. No Vet Commons Chip, Winnipeg and Anaheim are comboed. Basically looking for uh, autographs, of course, and Young Guns. Young Guns cards are the big ones right here. One spot gets you three, so let's triple these names up. One, there's two, there's three. There's the combo up there. Ducks and Jets are comboed. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. 11 times, six and a five for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 at Valentine. After 11, we got John down to Greg. And 11 times for the teams. One, two, three, four. And 11th and final time. After 11, we got the Caps down to the Canadiens. All right, John with the Caps, Sean with the Red Wings, Joseph with the Sabres, Darren with the Islanders, John with the Avs, Greg with the Wild, Spiro with the Blues, Greg with the Combo Team, Ducks and Jets, Wade with the Oilers, Sean with the Kings, Joseph with the Penguins, Darren with the Hurricanes, Wade with the Canucks, Joseph, Senators, Maple Leafs, Blackhawks, Natalino with the Panthers, Sharks, and Stars, Wade with the Devils, Spiro with the Lightning, Darren with the Coyotes, Greg with the Rangers, Spiro with the Flames, Joseph with the Predators, John with the Bruins, Greg with the Flyers, Golden Knights, and Columbus Blue Jackets, and Greg with the Montreal Canadiens. All right, so let's uh, get all this on one page right here. Let's sort by column B, by team. And we'll leave this time open for a little bit of a trade window. I'm gonna grab the fresh case, which is behind me here. All right, this says 2021 series two, must be it. four boxes we're going to do here. All right. So there's already f three stacks of four right here. So we're going to select a die. We'll select that one. And we'll go one, two, three, four, and five, six on the dice roll. And it's two, one, two. So we're gonna do the far left side right here. These will save for a little bit later. And we'll put put X's on the boxes right here so we know they're from the same so we know they're from the same uh, case. All right, so I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. No deals done. Here is the final printout right here. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. UCLA, you got the sounds of UCLA and Gonzaga on in the background. UCLA hanging tough. They're up, actually, 38-34 with a few minutes left in the first half. They're playing some tough basketball, too. They're keeping it close. Second half could be a completely different story. We've seen what Gonzaga can do, but hey, so far so good. I like what I'm seeing, the Bruins.
<laughs> this AT&T commercial with David Robinson kind of cracks me up. What's he doing there? <laughs> Network security is his passion. This break brought to you by AT&T. are killing me here. Come on, Pax. Almost like they put use too much glue on here. So the big cards out of these series two are these young guns right here. That's what we're looking for. Even canvas young guns would be cool. There's John Leonard for the Sharks. That'll be for Natalino. The canvases are nice as well. There's some Dazzler that I think are pretty nice. Some more young guns. That's Philippe uh, Mallet. I don't know, my hockey knowledge, not strong folks. So excuse my pronunciations. John with the caps. We got Timothy. Uh, Lilsgren, Liljegren, Dazzlers for Toronto. That's going to be for Joe Drobeck. Some more young guns. I think those young guns could even be in uh, in French as well. There's Lucas Vegdemo for Montreal. That'll be for Greg and the Canadians. Ryan Reeves and the Golden Knights We've got box filler right here. We'll get all those top loaded before they go out, of course. It's just a regular upper deck canvas. So two player young, I'll have to do a left right randomizer on that. And there's Nikolai Kinzov for the Sharks. That's going to go to Natalino and San Jose. So we'll do left right randomizers on this. And there's Thomas Harley, rookie materials. For the Dallas Stars, that's going to be for Natalino as well. More young guns. That's Alexander Romanoff for Montreal. That's going to go to Greg. First box out of the way, and let's go to the next box. All right, good luck. Brandon Richards, what's up? Thinking thinking of buying 2021 Panini Prism Draft Picks Basketball Mega Box. Pink ice are the same as regular prism, but different parallels. Okay. Uh, we, I'm sorry. Is there a question in there? Are the Are you asking? Are the prism? I think the pink ice might be exclusive to those mega sets, and the autos I don't think are the same as as the auto checklist um, in this current prism. Nice, Anthony. Yes, I would love to get that flawless full. Yeah, there's two spots left in that filler right there.
So that should be, we should be able to add that to the schedule. Actually, right after that, I think we only have to do a number block after this. So let's do the number block, and then that should get us right to the mega and then the flawless, unless other something else fills before then. I think flawless fans, you don't want another one of these hockey breaks filling up, because then you have to wait another 40 minutes or so before we can even get to it. So maybe a little motivation for flawless. Which is a considerably shorter break than this. Same with the Panini one football fillers, the three number blocks or the two number blocks. Um, I'll tell you what, Bryn, I'll be honest with you. I think some people, some people argue that the value of the, I think if you do your research, you might see the same thing, that the value of draft basketball will drop considerably once the regular basketball comes out. Now, unless you're a big college fan, I think it's a fun break. It's a fun box to buy if you're a fan of the college uniforms. But I think the pro uniform audience is much bigger on that uh, as far as Prism goes. Now, if you're just filling out a personal collection, you know, you want to find the player in their college gear, I think that would be good too. All right, there's Sean Walker. I like those acetate cards. I guess I should have been top loading these other rookies too. Nick Robertson, no all the ship. Nick Robertson for Toronto. We got this one for the Kings, Sean Maddock. Rookie Portraits, Young Guns. Chicago, that's gonna be for Joe, Joe Drobeck with the Black Hawks. And then this player will go to San Jose. That'll be for Natalino. That's Kale McCarr, I've heard of him. These guys will be part of that left-right randomizer. Cal Foot, Young Guns for Tampa Bay. Kale McCarr I know is pretty good. That's for Colorado. I feel like there's a weird... I feel like there's like a weird edge right on there. When I'm flipping through these cards, I can feel like a little edge right here. Just something to keep in mind. Because I can kind of feel like there's like a little extra edge there for some reason. Not this one. This one, the young gun seems smooth. Maybe just on the on the vet commons, which I guess wouldn't ship anyway. There's Alexis Lafreniere. This guy's pretty, I've heard of him. Upper Deck Portraits. And that's for Greg and the Rangers. I think some people are arguing he's had a, at least from, I, again, I don't know hockey. I'm just repeating what people tell me. There's Ty Smith, Devils for New Jersey. Now, he had a bit of a slow start to the season, but but I think he skips kind of the whole, the whole uh, sort of minor league process that a lot of young draftees have to go through. So I feel like that's a good thing. He'll just learn on the fly, I suppose. Unless he's been playing better recently. We've got a rookie for Dallas. That's going to be for Natalino. Marquee rookies. More marquee rookies. Connor Ingram for the Predators. That'll be for Joe. And then we've got a uh, Chicago player right here. Whatever his name is. <laughs> Ernst Weil? His name's tripped me up. That goes to Joe Drobeck and Chicago. There's Emil Laramie. Here's one for the Sabres. That's going to go to Joe. This one's for the Penguins. That also goes to Joe Drobeck. And there's Ernst Twile. Entwistle. Not Ernst Twile. Mackenzie Entwistle. I think I'm, some, I'm thinking of something else. Joe Drobeck with that one. These Dazzlers are a little more shorter printed. There's Victor Soderstrom. That is for Arizona, I think. Yeah, Arizona. That'll be for Darren McKenzie. David Case, Young Guns, 
for the Flyers. Greg with the Flyers. The Fly Flyers fly. There's Lafreniere's teammate. And Gonzaga up by one at the at halftime. UCLA hang, hanging tough. Let's see if the, let's see how far they can hang tough through through the second half on a team like Gonzaga. Stuart Skinner for Edmonton. That'll be for Wade. Shore Prince are street clothes. Did I miss any? Of those guys in street clothes? You just saw you just saw one? Hopefully you're not lagging behind. Now this one he's in his regular clothing. Thankfully, Joe Drobeck not lagging behind because I was able to find it really quickly. There he is, Sebastian Ajo in street clothes. That's a variation, Carolina. That'll be for Darren McKenzie. Good eye, good eye, Joe Drobeck. Two boxes to go. Next two boxes. Good luck. Can't believe the hanger prisms are over $100 for just 20 cards. I know. That's the way the market has gone. If you're lucky enough to find it in a, in a Target or a retail area, I mean, you know, take advantage of those opportunities. I know Target has like some wacky system that they've set up trying to fairly distribute those those boxes out. Can you imagine a big retailer like Target going through all this trouble for what probably is a very small percentage of their sales at their retail store at a, at a, at a Target? So they've got a whole process for it now. At our shop, we're not getting the Target versions, you know what I mean? So at our shop, we're paying whatever the distributor has us pay. For those cases and then and we just we have to sell them at at, at market it's almost like uh it's almost like a seafood place fresh fish right market price <laughs> your lobster is market price yeah no retail for canada i mean people are i you know every once in a while i'll pop my head into a target just hoping <laughs> but or a walmart or something you never see those it's impossible But such is the, the demand, so. Such is the demand. All right, third box. Gabe Velarde Dazzlers. He's been playing pretty well for my Kings. There's Joel for the Stars. That'll be for Natalino. Who's got the Kings? Sean Maddock does. Pierre Oliver Joseph. Shane Bowers. Brock Nelson, Dazzlers. Joel Kelman, Young Guns for San Jose. Gonzaga, he the first seven for the Zags, but 
And here is Kravstov for New York. That'll be for Greg. San Jose, that's for Natalino. Braden Burke for the Coyotes. That'll be the for Darren. There's Bowen Byram for Colorado. That'll be for John Deneen. Braden Burke, Arizona. David Case, Flyers, Greg. Havel Francou for Colorado. That'll be for John and the Avs. It's the first time I feel like I've seen one of these. Fluorescence. This looks like it's pretty short printed. Ryan McLeod for Edmonton. That'll be for Wade. I don't know how short printed this is, but. <laughs> Roman Yossi, award winners. Yeah, Brandon, I don't think most people are, are, are buying, you know, full cases of this sort of stuff anymore. Not not most people, but hey, that's why, that's why group breaks exist. And the more marquee rookies, Montreal, Greg. Another marquee rookie for Colorado. That's for John Deneen. That has more of a papery background feel to it. Pius Sutter, Chicago, Joe Drobeck, Cole Smith, Nashville, Joe. That's Connor McMichael. Not to be confused with Connor McDavid, Capitals. It's going to be for John Deneen. Dylan Cousins. Isn't that a isn't that a Phillies prospect? There's young guns, Dylan Cousins. Is he? Is this the same person? We got baseball player Dylan Cousins, and then we've got young guns for the Buffalo Sabers, Joe Drobeck, Dylan Cousins. Hmm. I've never seen him in the same place. John Deneen and the Capitals. And the final box coming up. Uh, no, we, 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 there are not very many things we have stored away. We don't have enough space here at the shop for that. We just buy it, post it, you guys then buy it, and we ship it out. <laughs> and we, we keep that inventory room as, uh, as empty as possible. Did you check the personal break side? You might have, I mean, if there's boxes available there, it'll, it'll either be on the group break side or on the personal break side. But yeah, if it's not on the site, we don't have it in the shop.
Although on this floor level, I have no idea what's on the floor level. Sometimes we have some some other stuff. I don't think I've seen Chronicles Baseball on the floor though. There's Nicholas Hoaglander, Young Guns. There's Peyton Krebs for Vegas. That's going to be for Greg. Here is Niles right there for Vancouver. That's going to go to Wade. Connor McMichael always making me think of Connor McDavid, but not different. Connor McMichael goes to John and the Capitals. Uh, marquee rookies, Larmy. And King or Sharks Young Guns. Uh King Zov. That'll be for Natalino and San Jose. Penguins, that'll be for Joe. There's a King. Mikey Anderson. Going to Sean. Marky Rookies, Vitaly Kravstov, Kraftsov, Rangers, Greg, there's Pavel, Frank Cruz for Colorado, Pierre Oliver Joseph, There's Morgan Geki, Geeky, Geeky, Carolina with that one. Darren, Jordan Gross, Young Guns for Arizona. That'll be for Darren as well. You know, I just realized that hockey is coming back to ESPN. And I think that could be with just more eyeballs on the sport. You know, I think that could be hashtag good for the hobby for hockey collectors. There's Gage Quinney for the Vegas Golden Knights, Greg. Oh, and there's Steven Lorenz, rookie material relic for Carolina as well. That's for Darren. Marquee rookies, Alec Regula. There's Reed Duke for Vegas, portraits. Rookie portraits for Greg. Chicago, this is for Joe. Like this has a different maybe a light blue is kind of sky blue parallel or something like that. Looks a little different. There's Willem Lagesson, Young Guns. Some Dazzlers, Braden Point, and Young Guns Canvas, Cal Foot. Nice one for Tampa Bay. That'll be for Spiro. There's Braden Point, uh, Tampa Bay. That'll be for Spiro. And the last little bit here, more young guns for New Jersey. And a plate. Look at that. A little train whistle for... That's Cam Fowler for the Ducks. Ducks. Greg, all aboard the Big Head Express. Whoop, whoop. And there you go, boys and girls. New Jersey. This is for Wade Preston. And let's do a quick left-right randomizer. Let's flip back to the uh, some dice right here. Let's pull up this list left-right. And let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, and six and final time. After six, left side card. So all those cards with two players on them, including this Young Guns card left side, we'll get them. There you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. That was Four Box Random Team 7 of 2020-2021 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.